things, yo. Better. This is a good cup of death. Yeah. Will end my life pretty soon, I hope. Ah. So, in my endless um journey of not making any videos, <laughs> here's a video. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't even know how to start this. This this goes probably under one of those uh, clickbait videos because people will accuse me of this. But, oh, story time! Because it's story time. Because now I've seen so many new things come up of the horizon. The, the, the sheer cluster full of um, new streaming services that uh, are already here and will come soon, next year and the years after, is mind-boggling to me. And I'm an old man right now, and I won't get any older, I hope. Okay? Late 30s, almost 40s. Okay? In the bumfuck nowhere called Austria. Ah. Oh. It's, it's... People don't learn... And so do big business. Yes. Big business is, is... Yeah. Because... We've been here. Time and time again. Almost every 10, 15 years. Because let me take you back to the beginnings. At least my humble beginnings back in the 90s. Okay, early 90s. Okay, you can even go further back into the 70s and 80s. Well, just 70s, then 80s. Because this is always the same procedure. They make money. They think by fucking customers over, they can make more money. And then get disappointed because customers, even the most um, NPC um, uh, boot licking, okay, um running under the heels of um, everything that is um, breathing with his nostrils, even they at one point say, fuck it. That's how it is. Because back when TV was a new thing, who was uh, raging about TV? Or even back, even further back, you can go back, all in history. It's always the same story. Something new came up. They fight. Because the new shit uh, drives away the old shit. Because the old shit doesn't want to adapt. So it can compete. So they try to legislate and control. And then die. Oh, by the way, when they are dying, they, they basically pull everything they can grasp down with them. So the collateral damage is as maximum as they can, so just so they don't die alone. Back when first radio came up, oh, people going to the radio, nobody goes to the theater anymore. Don't go to the radios, the radios are evil. TV, oh, don't go to TV, TV makes your brain go into salad and to, to mush. Don't go there, go and listen to radio, because radio is for the intellectual types. They really tried to do this here in my area for some reason. Really. We haven't very much evolved in the last 50 years or so. In many, many ways. Okay. The same goes when TV was a thing. And all of a sudden, oh no! Uh, <laughs> the broadcasting channels, okay? Hey, oh, go watch the network. Or oh, everything that is privately owned. Or every, 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 every other syndication system. Or oh, is evil. Watch the networks. When VHS came around, oh no, the, oh, everybody is copying and uh, distributing uh, private the stuff that we don't give them. The bootlegging scene was basically... Whew, the same goes for audio, audio, C audio CDs and back then even audio discs and um, tape, cassette tapes. When the bootlegging scene was basically everything we had, at least here in Europe, on a low-life <laughs> cockroach and rats infested okay, European slums that I call home. Yeah, bootlegs were from from the eighties to the mid nineties were the only thing we had because 
Family Guy, like South Park, American Dad, uh, Stargate and all the other TV shows. We didn't see that in TV. This was 10 years after it, it, it aired. Star Trek, for example. I, I, I remember seeing the, the, the um, uh, syndication airing of Star Trek The Next Generation only because some weird um, um, out-of-range um, TV channel over, over satellite that we got in back in 92? We were airing basically everything on uh, a broader scale so we got uh, English television for some, for some time. I wouldn't have known for TNG at least until the late 90s when it came to our, our television. Because why would we give them entertainment? Because they watch, they watch our shit. And believe me, TV was shit in the 90s as well. Besides all those uh, off-brand weird kind of places where I, I was uh, happy to oblige and uh, to watch. And it's always the same thing. Something came up, people like this shit, but nobody reacts to this shit when people like it. They always, no, this will never be popular. Same, same goes for, for, for people like me that like, like anime and manga, okay? The midnight screenings, okay, and midnight airings on certain, not very um, liked TV station. From midnight to four o'clock for my place to be. Which explains why I'm so, so bad at school stuff and oh boy. Barely got through it. Was very sleepy back then. I'm very sleepy back right now actually. Yeah. Hmm. Things haven't very really changed for me. But yeah, it, it was always the same thing. All this will never be popular. It gets popular. Why is it popular? We don't know how to do this shit. Control it. And delete this shit. Get, get it away. Oh man, people making money. This can't be going on. We have to control it because we can prove provide this shit because it would actually be work. Even though from '94 to 2000 was the best year when you be an anime fan, actually, because the whole the darkest, brutal, and violent shit was airing at at, at, at the most unhumane timelines. Okay. Like I said, four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> because yeah, th that's when mm, Topper just to fill holes. Okay, but back on that, they were always fighting over stuff when people want shit, but they don't deliver. Especially here in Europe, Austria, Germany st style. That's what I know the best from back in those days. Okay, jumping across a little bit more in two thousand, two thousand and five areas. When in that five years, there was the beginning which was very dark because that was the time in 2000 when all of a sudden, and this was probably no accident, um, the normal, normie television channels decided, hey, uh, people like this anime stuff. We making now uh, anime uh, a very good thing. Good, good. Many stations air anime and it's very well received. We now make documentaries where we call him out everyone who is an anime fan to be a pedophile. That was fun. Of course, they now deny it, even though you still, it's, it's one of those uh, great David Attenborough things where you, I can't show you the dinosaur that basically fucked my house up, but I can show you the footprints he left behind. Because there's a really interesting gap. Whoa, 90s, oh, mid 90s, oh my god, almost 2000 anime is rising. Every station can't get enough anime, and we had a lot, okay, in the late 90s. Until 2000 came around, and all of a sudden, every station, boop, three years long, almost nothing. Then 2004 came around, and uh, all of a sudden, whoop. Then a, a whole another year, uh, two years actually, go around until 2005, where actually all those weird and out of place um, publishers came around. Panasonic, but Disney, Warner Brothers, uh, some um, local uh, publishing uh, association came up. I, I, ha I have, have some old, oh yeah, yeah. I have still stuff laying around here, okay. Yeah, stuff like, oh yeah, the Super Book. Uh, published by a girl called SKV, okay, or VHS SKV, yeah. 
There is, there is, by the way, a remake of that, uh, made by the same guys who made uh, Bumper de Boo. Yeah, it, it, we got to, we got to shown this in Bible class. Also shown in Bible class for some weird reason when no teacher were around. Captain Harlock. We had German speaking sub and uh, and now dubbed sorry dubbed version of Captain Harlock on VHS back then. Don't have those because they disappeared faster than I could grab anything. And this is just a slim reminder of oh the things that has been. But. They couldn't get this shit fast enough out and miscalculated in the beginning, okay? So 2001 came around, at least in the home video market, they uh, collapsed. Then in 2004-2005, they come up again and then with uh, DVDs, which bring out a whole bunch of new publishers that are still around even though they try to rebrand take new names on and basically no we are not them we are just basically fucking up rebranding doing the same again since 2004 because oh we publishing now all the series you like on television oh really you bring us everything yes everything but only 10 episodes why because we only license 10 episodes because it's cheap. Please buy our stuff. Why don't we get the rest? Because we need to buy, uh, buy the next one when we have enough uh, people uh, bought our stuff that we have already. Yeah, we already have this. And when we get more. And they continue this, this, this cycle. Jumping a, a few years in front of 2004 to 2006, where this is a pinpoint here in the Deu German speaking. Deutsch. <laughs> German speaking. Yeah. Um, area because in 2006 they decided something very very smart because we didn't have the internet at this point we had it but it was basically unusable dial-up okay I personally got uh, the first workable internet in my place okay in 2007 everything before that uh, basically oh you couldn't do anything okay even though places had stuff you had to go to coffee shops that had also very slow but at least they had internet. Yeah, and <laughs> oh, in 2006 they said, you know what? Fuck it. We basically scrub every licensed anime we have from TV because that's the way. <laughs> we get everything to home market. And everyone's like, okay, why? Because there's a new show on the horizon we just got, which was very cheap and was very, 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 very uh, filler based. That basically had hundreds of episodes where nothing was going on for over 200 of them because we have to fill almost four to six hours, sometimes seven hours. Seven hours. Uh, on uh, airing time for the kids uh, from 4 to 8 or in, in, in the morning from, from, from 7 to 9. So what do we do? Oh, we um, just uh, license Naruto. Which I always find funny when, you, when I see the old memes of Americans making fun of European uh, versions of Naruto because the, cen the censorship they uh, see now, which is almost gone I guess or partially wasn't made by the Germans this was the American censorship best back in the days from four kids but since in America at some point they actually decided to uh, get rid of the shitty censorship with all oh, that uh, there is no blood no violence and we hide your um, parents and your clan members and all this other shit okay they're now making fun of the Germans for their for their doing just kind of reminds you of other, other historical shit. Hey, we fuck up, but we blame you and make fun of you. Hmm. But on, yeah. So, everybody was hating this, okay? Because nobody actually had money. Because, oh, we, we are catering to the kids. The kids don't have money to buy this shit. And, and, and the parents, who are not grown up on those uh, shows, don't really buy it. I did. I did buy a lot, 
which I regret greatly because, hey, we, there are the second season. We licensed the second season, but we won't publish it. Uh, why? Because we have to sell this, the first season before we can sell the second season. The second season is out for two years. The first season for four. How, how, how do you think the sales will go in the next five years? What do you... Did, did, did you basically just buy shit, sit on it, do nothing, and then and then basically laugh at you because, hey, I want this shit. <laughs> this did go on for another two years. I came in the internet um, area in 2007, like I said, and basically, uh, as a guy who likes new technology, I also, hey, there must be places to talk about anime and manga. Let's search for them. Yeah, and I did find them. It was very funny, actually, because you'd walk in basically in a saloon where the bar fight is already going. You have no plan what's going on, but everybody was raging, raging and um, punching up and down because, hmm, figure out, oh, people didn't like that, oh, um, they got a shitty censored uh, cartoon series, anime series. I don't even know if I want to say that uh, Naruto is a cartoon series or an anime series. It's just shit. I don't like Naruto, okay? If you like it, complete on you. At the point where we, we got it, we basically got fucked over by so many. Over 50 shows got cancelled just for one. Every day, four to six hours Naruto, mid the, with the occasional, oh, we, we sprinkle a little bit of um, Detective Conan on, on, on the weekends. Or you, you want a little bit Pokemon? They have you. Yeah, oh, yeah, three, four episodes. Every, but the rest? Let's go for the Orange Ninja, who basically. It's an embarrassing thing till to this day. Sorry. Okay. Th there is no walk walking around this. Okay. Th this is an embarrassment. For everyone who is here. And there. And everywhere. Okay. So yeah. People weren't happy. Guess what happened? <laughs> people were sneaking from the uh, big um, distributing sites. And from the TV stations into those forums. Um buying their way in in what way whatsoever and try to control this shit S smart people noticed this shit then got really angry so of course in two years completely the home entertainment uh, side of anime collapsed all the publishers bankrupt and of course in 2008 end of 2008 uh, at the end of 2008, I, I need to pronounce better. Okay. They, of course, turned around and blamed all the bad, bad customers for uh, pirating and, and not buying their uh, shitty productions because, hey, we fuck you over, not twice, not, 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 not three times, but all the fucking way. So why won't you buy our cheap products? Because, hey, you are supposed to buy this, even though we don't give you what you want. Uh, you are bad. Yeah, you are bad, I say. Everyone is like, fuck you. And and that was basically the era, and a few years before, from 2007 on, oh my. <laughs> oh my, when, when people decided to, oh, there, there are such things as the user net. Yeah, we are far behind, I know. Even back then was far behind. And the torrent sites and everything. Oh, we can also get this directly uh, from Japan and from other other streaming applications. I mean, Crunchyroll started out as an illegal site. People st st constantly forget that Crunchyroll wasn't one of the good guys in terms of marketing or uh, money making. They were one of the bad guys. And for many reasons nowadays, people are going back to the notion that yeah, Crunchyroll isn't one of the good guys because I hear nothing positive from them, even though they are the biggest publisher of animation in the Western world, in terms of streaming. I think 2009 was one of the breaking points for me personally, because then I really get to the point where, okay, I give up on the whole um, publisher in my area or in the German-speaking part. Why? We signed petitions. Many. Sometimes on the 60 to 70,000 signups to bring those publishers to hey if you bring us a streaming service we will we will buy 
And it was not back like like now where you just click one one button and oh you are you are, you have signed a petition or one of the voting booths in, in in Twitter or something. No, you actually had to sign in, give them your uh, address, your email, and everything, and uh, get this paper out back in the days. And still, we got six to seven, sixty to seventy thousand because there were multiple of those uh, petitions. Many many people were calling for hey. You have those licenses. Look, look into it. Get some streaming. There are other sites who already stream this shit. The illegal sites are booming right now because nobody gets the shit that they want. Why won't you give us what we want? At the same area, a little bit down the line, then Crunchyroll got in problems with the whole licensing thing, and they said, "Oh yeah, we 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 becoming now a officially legal and a pay a streaming site." And smartest decision they ever made. Oh wow! Netflix comes around a few years later, and all that, all that, uh, that stuff. Even here in Europe, if all the shows you want, oh man, Hulu. We still don't have problems with Hulu here and stuff. And all those. Oh, even Steam now brings us stuff. And streaming service. Yeah, a few things. We have we have everything together, and we pay for it. Great. What do we have now? Now that this, that this stuff actually is running, because when you sell, you don't sell the product in that way. Streaming services are not selling you the product. I think people still are still misunderstanding that, 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 that notion. It's not the product that people are searching. It's the convenience. People already point this out, but no, everybody's like, mm. because as soon as you get an easy access, where you find everything you want, even though you have to pay for it, because people don't have most of the time an issue with paying when they get what they want. Oh my! <laughs> what a conclusion! Conclusion, and what do we have now in the last last what two years now? Oh, we need to make more distributing services where we divide everything. First, everything was falling together because nobody either wanted that shit. Or they did want to make the work uh, with other things, so they just threw everything together, as good as bad as you think it is. And now they starting to divide everything again. So you have not oh we are now the official uh, alternative to cable, even though we are now shittier than cable. You pay more. And you get less because now you have multiple streaming services that only show their own shit. It was first together. Now it's divided. Now you pay for different services down the line when you oh I want to see this show. Okay, this is on this on on this uh, service, and this is over there. People don't like that. And what do we see now in this year and the year before? Oh, everybody is screaming. Why is the pirating scene now coming up again? It's it's the new age of piracy. Uh, yeah, because you are once again, and this doesn't only go for for entertainment in terms of media, for um, movies and TV shows. No, also gaming. Stadia. What? What a piece of shit. Okay, this will never work in the next ten years. Okay, even though they 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 they, they pray up. Oh, five G will make will make everything great. Yeah, I don't see this coming in the next ten years. They 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 they, pro they promise so much. Hey. I, I worked here for over 10 years with a fake okay landline that is rotting away, but at the beginning of this year I should pay more just because they supposedly laid fiber somewhere and my internet is supposed to be faster even though they not even they didn't even come close to what they are promised. But now you can pay more. Now I'm on a, on a mobile device. Also, not always always the best solution, but I pay a fraction and are at, at least a hundred, not a ten, a hundred times faster. But they don't they don't, they don't, they don't consider this a viable option of we should actually um, um, invest in the infrastructure because uh, in politics they always talk about we have overslept the competition. Like, no. Everybody was screaming at you that to do shit 
and you didn't do anything. No one, no, none of the companies did anything. Now that you are feeling it, because uh, other companies who are reliant on this shit stream as well, oh, maybe we should invest in stuff. It's always the same thing, as long as they make money and don't see that they are, can make more money. Every investment that they have to make to improve their shit, they won't do. As soon as they smell that there is even the slightest possibility of making more money by just fucking the customer, because that's their, that's their favorite pastime, I guess, they do it, but nothing else. Fucking the customer is the only thing that they know, apparently. That's why we have all this, all this. Now, oh, why, why, for example, would, okay, a gaming uh, publisher go from the most popular st uh, storefront because, oh, we, we go over there because uh, profit and money. Yeah, and that's the only way to make more money. Even though over there, and uh, yes, I talk about the Steam, Steam stuff and uh, the whole Epic Game Store, that... They are, and, and they actually now abandoned their roadmap for, I think roadmaps are the great, greatest bullshit you can ever have because nobody is holding their promises in any way. And it's, it's, it's the same thing. Oh, we have now our, our, all our different launchers. Oh, we have Origin. We have now the uh, Epic launcher. And uh, Bethesda has its own launcher. EA has its own one. And... Uh, how many are there actually? I, I don't even know anymore. Okay. Just so they 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 they, they can scratch out the little the, the percentages they have to give Steam. Okay, thirty percent is a, is a, is a lot of money. Yes. But at least make a storefront that works. But no, they don't do that, and it's always the same. It was always the same here for me as well. They do shit, then laugh about hey how they have shit that you want but they don't give you, because when you not give them enough money, they don't do it, just like the publishers back here. And they they always fight. And as soon as the progression hits them and they try to catch up, they always as soon as they slowly coming to the to the to the to the level we all are right now, because they are always years of years behind. As soon as they are closer. To what is actually acceptable, they split up in some different way and basically bum fuck around for the next five. Why? Because hey, we we making money, but we can make more money if we fuck them a little bit harder. Maybe, just a maybe alone. I mean, EA is now going back to to Steam because they realized hey, we can't make money. The same goes for movies. Hey, why is the Mandalorian so good and the SW screeching about it and nobody is doing anything about it because everybody is happy now that at least one TV show is working. But yeah, when you give you give the fans stuff that they like, they will buy. Oh, what a conclusion! If you have something that somebody wants. You can sell this if you basically shit in your burrito. Nobody wants this burrito anymore. But they, they think, hey, there is more in this burrito. Yeah, but that, that, that what you are giving is shit. Same goes for the movies. Like I said, it's in gaming, in services, in all... Everywhere. And, and it's always the same thing. Like I said... It started with the VHSs and uh, cassette tapes, then DVDs. Hey, we had grandiose commercials. How bad and what kind of evil person you are if you're buying a CD burner. Bag. Because you could burn your own audio CDs. And later on, or you could burn your own video CDs or even DVDs back then. Oh, you bad, bad person. You have to license this shit now. Because you could. You are a bad person. That's why we have to buy, act, uh, uh, even now today, we have to get um, an extra amount, uh, I think a few bucks, to every electronic item that can, uh, in some kind of way, um, produce or storage data in the enter entertainment uh, department. We have to buy a fee for artists. This comes from back in those days, because... oh. <laughs> So that, that's the level we have. 
The same goes when the internet comes around and basically everybody was screeching. I like this word, screeching. About, hey, oh, 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 all those all those illegal downloading uh, people are, are hurting our sales, even though at the point when, when, when all these sales dropped, uh, nobody was doing this shit. Provable? But there's still an um, argument about this. Because, yeah, um, people that complain are those people who are staying. The people that you don't see are those people who are going or already left. They never understand this. And the same you see with the movies now. The, the, the new trailer for Ghostbusters uh, next year drops on Monday. What do you think will happen? Because we've already seen, after, after a few tweets I have seen, all, oh, how can they make this? How can they not make it 2016? A, 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 a second episode or a second movie to that. Everybody misogyny. All those blue-haired Jabba the Hutts uh, on Twitter basically sque screaming like crazy because oh, man-driven. Even though there are only four pictures out right now, which basically is just four pictures. You couldn't figure out anything from that, plus the poster. But already screaming. In the first trailer for the 2016 epi uh, uh, epic fail uh, came out, everyone was excited because they didn't show actually, uh, at, at least the most, but nobody was screaming about it. Only because nobody knew what 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 was what to expect. Somebody, was, so the most people were actually positive. Oh, we get finally a conclusion, a third movie, even though we had the game. Which was way, 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 way better than any movie that we can perceive. And I personally think that the uh, Ghostbusters video game was the third movie because we have all original four Ghostbusters. Lots of cameos, lots of in jokes. The writing is on point, the characters are on point, even though the voice acting wasn't always that great. But hey. Now they're screaming again, and I don't get it. Because it's it's a crazy world we live in, and it's it's not, it's not getting better. I'm okay with crazy, but this is not fun crazy. It's not um hooray crazy. It's oh oh the crazy uncle comes to our to our wedding anniversary that nobody likes, it makes creepy. Uh, comments to the bride and all, everybody's uh, that kind of crazy okay it's it's strange i mean it's good that we now see the turnaround of uh, the big movie and uh, tv productions or streaming productions now turning around slowly and thinking hmm, we maybe shouldn't anger the fans who actually give us money and cater to those people who never seen our movies and never will see our movies because the only thing they do is basically complain and they are only happy when they are complaining complaining is the only thing that's that's their point the complaining uh, the complaining is their fun. They are having fun by making everybody around them miserable because they don't know how to be happy. Those unfuckables, those people who are living in a basement or in, 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 a, in, a, in a small uh, one bedroom apartment with six others and the ferret, because there's always a ferret for some reason, living living for minimum wage or, or healthcare, and then complain on their Apple iPhones, how, how, how they fuck the system and how, how they're the alternative. I've seen so many right here, right now in my area as well, and it's sad. And I can't even make fun of them, because most of them run this country right now. Ugh. What they? That's just me, I guess. Okay, this goes long enough. Oh, 34 minutes. Oh, woo! People not want, not gonna watch this. Oh, man. This was my rant on Sunday. Because why not? I don't make many movies, uh, many videos. Me making a movie. No. 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 No, 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 no. But anyway... 
Never know Sunday or Monday or week. It's getting close to Christmas, so the cringe is rising. I hear wham everywhere, okay? They torture us every year with that shitty song. So my mood isn't the best. But uh, yeah. At least it's soon over. And the next year comes. Another year of shit, I guess. Cheers and see you next time. Ah, the good thing is the skull holds this stuff warm. That's good. <laughs>